Senator representing Lagos Central, Oluremi Tinubu, has commended women in Nigeria and other parts of the world for speaking up against uh, gender imbalance and other issues affecting females. Now, in her International Women's Day message, uh, Senator Tinubu noted that women must uh, break the bias to allow for more uh, women in the National Assembly as well as managerial and executive positions. Now, this, according to how will make women's voices heard and their interests represented. Senator Tinubu stated that uh, although there are hurdles to be crossed, women must put aside their differences to achieve a common goal. She also advised women, females to make a conscious decision to support uh, other women and continue to push for inclusiveness in the electioneering, the legislative arm and across board. Senator Lura Mitinubu assured that uh, she will continue to advocate for women and ensure that rights of the girl, child and women are promoted without bias. All right, joining me now to discuss this is the Lagos State Coordinator, Nigerian Association of uh, Blind, Christina Akirimadi. Akir Akirimadi. All right, now, Christian, it's good to have you join me uh, this uh, afternoon. Now, on a day like this, that uh, we're talking about giving opportunity to more women with the theme Breaking the Bias, uh, what do you make of how we can take the advantages of today to achieve the objective and the goals? Well, to achieve my objectives and goals is that all women, we are equal. We should be treated and change the narratives, most especially that people with disabilities are liabilities. We are not liabilities, but we are assets. And we are financially independent, and we are self-independent. And we want to change the narratives wherever people see us. Let us, we don't want pity, but empathy. The stigmatization should be erased from us. So there should be an equal gender wherever we are and wherever we go. Mm. All right. Now, can, can you share with us, because when we talk about this biases and some of this discrimination, not, not everybody really understands how these things play out. But share with us how these things reflect on daily basis. It reflects on daily basis, most especially for those, uh, those of us that are employed or that are self-employed. Most especially those who are not employed, maybe they're on their own, they, they, never look, they never see themselves as equal with others because they are financially independent, dependent on others and social dependent, mobility dependent. So for those of us that are on our own, like the entrepreneurs, we have the skill to compete with others outside. But what we are advocating is, those of us that are not employed, how do they cope with the current economic situation? It makes them to look as if they are not human. People never look them with respect. They are being disrespected. And generally, women are undermined. They look at them as low citizens, and they look at them as low level. So that is one of those challenges we are facing right now. All right. Now, w when it comes to uh, changing the narrative and uh, changing the trend, what should we all do right now to be able to change that trend in conscious terms? What we mean that we want government to assist us so that we never lack information. We want them to empower us, most especially in the educative aspect of it. And we want to be technologically inclined so that we can use our phone, our laptop, we go to Elsa and every other places, every other gadget we need to do, we need to know technologically. And we need to be trained so that we will have more knowledge so that we can add value to ourselves wherever we meet ourselves outside or within our environment. All right. Uh, Christina Kinyaramide, thank you so much for... Thank you,
Akiri Made, thank you so much for uh, talking to us on TVC. Thank you.